Hi, this is Anisha Reddy and you're watching Straight Up by edX Live. Multiple days of protesting, instances of police brutality and campaigns on Twitter. Looks like MBBS students of Haryana who have been voicing their displeasure against the bond policy and the state government have now come to a compromise. In today's video, we will give you more updates on the same. Now, the students are demanding that the government slash the bond amount to rupees 5 lakh from rupees 40 lakh and the mandatory service period of 7 years to 1 year. They also asked the state to prohibit banks from interfering with the bond policy and demanded that the agreement remains between the state government and the students. To recall, the Haryana medical students have been protesting against the state government's new bond policy, which would oblige those enrolled in government medical colleges to pay a bond of Rs 10 lakh a year in addition to their tuition. This policy is a part of the controversial policy that the Directorate of Medical Education and Research, Haryana, published in the 2020 Gazette. A delegation of students from PGIMS Rotak, which has been the epicenter of the protest in the state, met with the state health minister Anil Vij and submitted their fresh demands. The students were assured by the minister that their demands will be raised with the chief minister. However, the students also said that if the government does not take any affirmative steps towards their demands, their ongoing protest will intensify further. Additionally, they have also claimed that the college administration has sent letters to their homes stating that the students' demands have been addressed. The letters also mentioned, and I quote, Students have been agitating in front of the director's office since last many days, which has disrupted the smooth functioning of the administrative office, public work and MBBS admission counselling. It adds that, as such, students are not attending classes and further threatens them with consequences like not being allowed to sit for exams, expulsion from hostels and rustication. The students said that they are yet to submit a letter to the Vice-Chancellor of PGIMS, Dr. Anita Saxena. Meanwhile, protests have been reported from other government colleges in Haryana as well. That's all from us today. Do like, share and subscribe for more updates and we will see you again tomorrow. And don't forget to mask up and stay safe.